come, come è cominciato? Perché de, de, io sono arrivato nel 64, normale, dopo sono arrivati i scalabriniani e hanno aperto la chiesa eh, lì a Brixton. E, a, che aiutiamo i preti a fare sulla chiesa, pitturare, que, tutto quelle cose lì. E c'era padre Mario che era il primo, era il nostro, il nostro no prete, il nostro capo, via, ci manteneva tutti i bambini, eh, ragazzini, via. E ha cominciato il calcio e in cinque di noi abbiamo cominciato, eh, quando uno parla di calcio è calcio, purtroppo è così. Eh, e dopo hanno aperto il club pure, c'era la chiesa e il club. Allora, di lì ha cominciato questa cultura tra di noi, tra tutti i ragazzi da 16-17 anni. ci vuole anche soldi a quei tempi là, allora c'è questa famiglia Farnesi che hanno sponsorizzato a noi tutti il fratello, che il segretario è 51 anni e è ancora lì. La distribuisce Farnesi, segretario started in 1968, helped the team with actually everything for the two or three years and he's still with us. If it wasn't for him really, what still wouldn't exist. So thanks for him, um, we're still here, I'm still kicking. He's 75 by the way, so another 10 years, 20 years, uh, we still be here. <laughs> we, we have got our wives very patient. Yes. For 50 years. So well, the, she joined the committee now, my wife. We, we've been married, <laughs> I've, I've been married 45 years. So she's been very patient. <laughs> it's unbelievable, Luigi obviously started it. Yeah. And has now been here for 51 years. Yeah, every single week. Every single week, yeah. yeah. And even had to finance the club yeah. to keep it yeah. going out of his own pocket. pocket. Maybe he still does things now that we don't even know. Exactly. What well, made me laugh because we needed the transport. So Luigi goes to his father, right? He said, Dad, we need a van for cash and carry. Right? So he said, okay, go and buy it. So Luigi goes and buy the van, cash and carry, he had 12 seats. His dad said to Luigi, he said, oh, yeah, he said cash and carry. He said, yeah, but you know, 12 seats, we still got room for the cash and carry. You know? <laughs> we bought a van for us to put the football. I think uh, it's funny, we don't ever tell people what the values are but the way we introduce people to each other, get everyone down to the club, the way we are, the way that we see that in the club, you don't have to tell people what the values are, it's there, it's, there. it's in front I of I think them. it's the way we welcome players, it's the way yeah. we are. When they come and speak to us, even on a, and training on Wednesday night, how we, how we obviously enforce the whole family nature and yeah. being together. I mean, Zul Johnny speak about it all the time. Yeah. You know, go out there, play the game, but play together as a team, bond and do what you've got to do and put as much effort in as you can, obviously, you know. I started playing uh, last September. So I finished uni, started the summer, moved down to London. I uh, was looking for a team. Marco works at the same company as me. Uh, yeah, so there's like a th Thursday five aside, and I was asking about any Sunday leagues. And someone said they got a game, came down here, so I came down. So it wasn't actually Marco that put me on for the team. It was someone else. And when, when he told me to turn up, he was like, there's quite a few Italians there. Yes, I'm from recently because I used to live in Italy. I just came here like five months ago. So I didn't know anything about Italian Wastels. I just played once on a pitch with uh, Marco and some other guys here. And they called me to give a try. And I tried it once and they liked me and they called me to play here every Sunday. So that's it. I played in Italy in these levels here. So, but here is everything more organized and all the stuff. We can have more fun, you know. Well, I feel better here, to be honest. I don't think it's just playing football that has helped me, you know, with where I've got to today, but the actual environment, the way we are with each other, 
you know, I've learned from it. You know, I came in as a, I think the first time I trained, I was probably about 13, 13 or 14, 14, just to train with the, with the guys. And, and that, that really was quite, you know, that age, you're learning a lot, you know, you're growing up. And I've grown up with Wastils in my family, in, my, in, in the, the things I do week in, week out. You know, whether it was school or, or Wastils, that's what I was doing. You know, and that, those values, have probably helped me get to where I've got to today, and it, it kind of links with like the traditions, the you know the, the generations, as we've said. The fact that you come down, you say, "Oh, this is this is my dad. He started it 51 years ago. I'm now the, uh, the captain. You know, this is my brother." You know, it, it, you it's know, a perfect it, introduction, it's... isn't it? Mother of Ricardo, my club players, number 19 and number seven, Claudio, um, is my husband. Uh, my dad ran Italia West Steels for a long time. My brother ran Italia West Steels for a long time. So when my dad was manager, uh, my husband, my, bro my brother and my brother-in-law played. Recut this, sorry, there's a fight going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looked over there, sorry. So yeah, it's progressed to um, now Ricardo and Marco taking over. Um, from, I think my nephew ran it for a little while, Romano. Um, it's, it's really just trying to keep the, the team going from 1968 to now. It's, um, it's more than a club, it's a family. I remember your first football boots, they were in the shed, but my ones were Deodora. Yeah, yours were the Deodora. Mine were the I Deodora. think I still got them somewhere. They have, they're in the garage. Somewhere. They have still got them. Definitely. Yeah. So my first football boots, Theodore. I, I, I think yours. I used them. I used them. Yeah, yeah. Not to play. Yes, you did because obviously had smaller feet. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my first Italy football kits that I remember are Theodore. Yeah. Who will let you buy anything else except the other one? <laughs> yeah, it's your Johnny special. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now just through and through. Wastil, yeah, in his blood, in his, yeah, obviously in catering, coffee shop, working six days a week and your day off is a Sunday and, you know, totally, he never got a lie in, so he was, uh, yeah, it's in him, it's in him, it's a uh, yeah, big part of his life, so, and the boys have taken that, they've taken it from him, they have really got it in their blood, some aren't as committed, uh, but they are totally committed. <laughs> Uh, we had to admit there's time to change. So we brought more new blood in, new committee, uh, and it, it's paid off at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, we're still doing quite well. So, you know, let's hope it carries on. And because of the new committee, they're all young. So you're talking about the 30 years of what still. You know, if nothing else happens, of course. Yeah. 30 years, Luigi, what do you think? <laughs> 105 and it'll be 97. <laughs> we'll do our best. Yeah. We'll do our best. We will still be around. Michael's the treasurer, Ricardo's the chairman. Um, so a lot of the older ones have obviously resigned, got new players, um, and there's a really strong feeling from hopefully like it used to be. So, uh, I mean, moving forward, a lot of our friends and people that have got connection with the club have got kids that are growing up and they don't want it to obviously end, so they're hoping that uh, it can continue so that obviously they, the generations carry on. I think, everything, I think everything that we're doing now is also a testament to the last 50 years and what the hard work and dedication of all that have been involved with Everyone, the club. Every single and person. what we're doing now and relaunching it and continuing it all. Forza Wastils, long live the club for another yeah. 50 years and more if possible. Salute. 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 Salute.